AI is everywhere. It's all over the news, it's in your favorite products, and it's all over the stock market. But as a founder, how do you get into this trend and build something around that? And that's why I have you covered in this video. I'll be going over seven different AI niches that you can build profitable SaaS products in. So let's dive right into our first niche here, and that's going to be AI for finance or banking. Now, with this route, you can take either the B2B or B2C route. But if you're focusing on the B2B, it's basically sucking up and analyzing all of the data for a business. So maybe you're taking in different integrations from their e-commerce store, or you're looking at their bank accounts or accounting software, getting all this information together and generating analysis on top of that. This could be really great for spotting things such as trends, such as expenses over time, how that's fluctuating if you're doing anything unusual. It could also help you identify high value customers or different profitable segments you can target further. If you take a look at the B2C side, you could focus on building something similar to Mint Mobile, which shut down recently, even though it had millions of customers. Again, you could use AI to gather all the accounting related data from bank accounts to expenses, to credit card statements, analyze all that and provide suggestions on how that person could reduce their spending and save more money. This second niche is going to be AI powered customer support. Customer service is a huge industry as it can really make or break most companies as customers want a quick response and easy answers to their questions. However, it can be quite expensive to hire a team or if you're a solo founder to run the customer service yourself. And we've seen chatbots over the years as they've come up to be this solution that's buggy and doesn't work very well and it can't actually solve your answers. It used to be that you would just instantly try to talk to a human agent as a chatbot couldn't really solve your issues. However, this has changed with the new AI models that have come out as it's become quite good at understanding everything on your site, your help docs, and accessing different API information and then providing really good answers to the customer. Now, this is a crowded niche, so I think it could be best to really narrow down your target market. This is going to let you position yourself as something more of a big fish in a small pond targeting a specific segment of customers rather than trying to appeal to everyone. If you've gotten this far in the video, I'm sure you want to build your own micro SaaS and that's where I have you covered with a complete end-to-end -end course that's going to show you how to build, scale, and profit from your very own micro SaaS even if you have no previous SaaS experience. There's a link in the description below, so make sure you check that out. If you're not ready for a full course yet, I also have you covered with free micro SaaS ideas that you can steal for free. There's also a link in the description as well. This next niche is going to be AI driven marketing and advertising. With the power of AI, you can really personalize those messages to customers and also focusing on sending them the right message at the right time. With this niche, you could really focus on a specific segment. Maybe it's AI driven email marketing. Maybe you're focusing on analyzing different leads and nurturing them. Or maybe it's doing predictive forecasting using existing sales data. It could even be a tool that's going to make it super easy to create ad campaigns across all the major social networking platforms. There are plenty of tools and analytics platforms that you can maybe take data from and then do analysis on top of that. Even if you were to focus on something like e-commerce store owners, the majority of them don't really want to dive into their analytics. They really just want to see how they can improve their store, make more money and generate more profit. So if you can make all that easier, helping them to increase revenue, it's going to be a win-win here. This next niche I think would do really well in the e-commerce industry, and it's going to be AI fraud analysis. There are millions of chargebacks every year for just about every product out there. And this can be expensive for store owners in both time and money. Money is going to be that if they lose it, they're going to lose that amount the customer paid. They shipped out the product and they're going to have to pay to process that chargeback fee, which I believe is around $15. Additionally, for the time, it's going to be having to fill out the credit card dispute form, trying to win that money back. And many of times that is not going to happen, even if it was a legit order on your end, as it could be that customer lost their credit card and someone processed that without them knowing. Going. And so in that case, I believe it defaults to the customer to get that money back. Using AI in this niche could be extremely effective as it can analyze against different databases of possible stolen emails. It could also analyze different characteristics such as the IP address, the order size, and maybe find different correlations that might not be directly visible to the naked eye. Next up, we have AI driven content creation. So this could be for just about any platform, whether you're doing videos for YouTube or TikTok or stories. It could 
could be text content for different blog posts or medium articles. It could even be audio content for podcasts. There are plenty of different ways to create AI different content generation. Again, it's going to be really streamlining down to a specific market segment and making your specific product really good at creating and generating content for that niche. I could even see a use case of repurposing existing content and then recreating it on different mediums. Let's say customers are really good at writing blog posts. However, they're not great at video content or audio content. You could use a combination of different AI platforms on the back end to go and create video content, maybe turning it into a short podcast or stories or reels, something to amplify the originally good content to many different platforms to increase distribution. Next up is gonna be AI for HR and talent management. As for any company, this is a very crucial department. There are many different tools that could be built around this niche. Maybe it's with hiring, with talent acquisition, it could be resume scanning, it could be automating certain communications or reference checks. Maybe there's a tool around the retention of employees to make sure that they're happy and they're enjoying the work and they're productive. Maybe it's analyzing a bunch of different metrics around that and giving recommendations. There could also be tools to help boost employee engagement, or maybe it's simplifying and speeding up certain tasks that were really time consuming before. This last niche is going to be AI-based personalization and and this is key because it helps for really strong retention. So it could be analyzing a bunch of different things such as their behavior on a website or an app. Maybe it's testing different things that the user might like and then providing them recommendations. This obviously has a really good fit with content as you're recommending the right content that the user is going to be engaged in. It could also be recommending the right product that a person might be interested in buying based on previous behaviors. I've started to see quite a few products do this in e-commerce as if you can get that person to increase their average order value, that can be extremely profitable. So it's advantageous to show them the right product that's going to be really related to what they're currently looking at. So this is going to conclude the video here on seven profitable AI niches. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.